welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you how to make a mini plasma ball using the mini high voltage power supply that I showed you in a previous video. If you already have the high voltage power supply, it is very easy to make. You need the following, obviously the power supply. You also need an incandescent lamp with its socket. It is important that is an incandescent lamp, the old type that has a filament inside, newer types, LED lamps and fluorescent lamps, of course, will not work. You also need a couple of connecting wires, alligator clips, and finally, a large metal washer. It is better if it is large and heavy. And of course, you need a battery or power supply, 3.7 volts in order to run the small high voltage power supply. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. This is the high voltage power supply. I have dedicated a video to this power supply. In the description I give you the link if you want to check it out. It is a commercial power supply that comes in the form of a kit. And it is very simple, very cheap. It costs around three to five dollars depending on where you buy it. And it can generate around 12,000 volts AC. And this is good because you need AC in order to run the plasma lamp. Very simple to make. It has a few components. The high voltage transformer. It is a ferrite transformer. It is essentially a flyback. And the control circuit, which has only three components. One transistor, a diode, and a resistor and of course the on off switch the power supply is small and because of that it has low power and for that reason you must use a small lamp in order to make your plasma lamp a normal lamp 60 or 100 watts works pretty well but larger lamps will not work good because the power is limited. Let me show you the high voltage power supply working alone. I am using a voltage of 3.7 volts, which is the recommended one for these little high voltage power supplies. I'm going to turn it on and you can see the electric arc. Let's now see the connections that are very simple. We need 3.7 volts from our power supply. You can also use a lithium ion battery. It also gives you 3.7 volts. And from that we fed the high voltage power supply. The high voltage output on the other side is connected to our alligator clips. One of the high voltage terminals is connected to one of the terminals of the lamp. It doesn't matter which one because we have AC and the other is connected to the metal washer. And you simply put it atop the lamp. And now I'm going to turn it on to see how it works.
Of course, you don't need a metal washer for this to work, even a simple piece of wire with some tape on it will work. You can also experiment with different types of lamps. Let's see how this works. The plasma lamp was invented by Nikola Tesla. As you know, he was very interested in high voltage phenomena and he found this behavior when he was experimenting with high frequency currents in evacuated tubes. So how this works? It is actually very simple. As you see before, the electric arc can jump between the two electrodes of the high voltage power supply. It is almost the same here. We have one electrode, which is the filament of the lamp, and the other electrode is the wire or the metal washer and the electric arc jumps from one to another through the glass. The glass behaves as a capacitor and remember that electric currents can be conduced by capacitors. And since here we have a partial vacuum, the distance that the electric arc can jump is larger than in the air. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.